now, it is time for a station break. Introducing Sony PlayStation, the breakthrough that takes gamers deeper into the game. use of all, aggressive pricing, that brings this only true next generation system into the home. Some of you uh, might actually want to know what that price is. Uh, and uh, since it's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles, uh, I'm going to ask Sony Computer Entertainment President of America, Steve Race, to join me for a brief presentation. Two ninety nine. show you iToy, I think uh, we have one set up over here and give you an example of the iToy. You see the camera, it sits on top of a television set and there's a PlayStation 2 down here and there's no controller hooked up right now because the camera is going to be my interface. What you're seeing on screen is the same thing I'm seeing on my television set and it's what a user would see. So there's, to interact with the system is very intuitive. You just reach up and move your hand in front of the buttons and you can scroll through the mini games that we have on this disc here. Fight. Fight. All right. The interface is really flexible and, and you can be creative with what you do. You can... can you need to be in Rise to Honor. Use your head. Forget Jet Li. <laughs> And when Very you want to cool. exit the game, you can just Very walk up cool. to the camera, put your hand over the game, that exits you to the, the menu screen. I'm trying, it's a bit of a workout here. Why don't you come over and help me, Kat? Me? No, I, I don't think so. I'm, I'm, come on, come on. 
<laughs> all right, well, uh, all right, well. <laughs> all right. I tell you, I hate it when things are not in the script here. Yeah, okay. you can clean off that. There we go. All right, just stand here. Yeah, just stand okay. there. Go ahead. Uh, I think he's better than I am. Wait a minute. We can well, do it together, well, too, okay. which is another great, great thing. Right, you know? take that part. He can cover that side. I cover this side. Is this like a new career for me? or? Uh, <laughs> there we go. There's going to be a new baby within the family. It's not a PlayStation 3. Okay. <laughs> Sony Computer Entertainment will be launching new handheld entertainment platform in 2004. The name of this new platform is called PSP. Yes, PlayStation Portable. It's simple. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the latest addition to the PlayStation family. Thank you. So uh, here you have all the physics working and all the collisions and all the dynamics and all the fluid simulation. But he's still a little bit lonely. I think he still needs more friends. So let's uh, stick in a couple more here. And this gives you an example of the overwhelming performance of PlayStation 3 and everything uh, that uh, you can do. Some of them are so uh, happy to leave the, uh, the, the bath, they, they jump out. But I don't think that's enough ducks. I don't think you can ever have enough ducks. And for the technically minded amongst you, this demo uses LOD, which is lots of ducks. <laughs> boom, boom. Ah, it did work. The images you just saw are from Final Fantasy VII. Thanks to the PS3's powerful third processor, our acclaimed classic has never looked better. Please note that we have seen is merely a sample, and we currently have no plans on releasing a remake of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> However, Square Enix is committed to fully backing Sony's new console. I have the final and the biggest announcement. Everyone, this is PlayStation 3. I don't know if you remember this uh, particular uh, opening. This was actually on the original PlayStation game as well when it was loading the game. Of course, I'm not a very good uh, player even there. Game is powered by Namco. It's Ridge Racer. 
Ridge Racer. Remember that one? All right, so let me, uh, let me go right ahead, get right into the game. Uh, Genji 2 is an action game which is based on Japanese history. The um, stages of the game will also be based on famous battles which took, actually took place in ancient Japan. So here's this giant enemy crab. Hop on its stomach and you attack its weak point for massive damage. <clears throat> what I love about the PlayStation is the feel of the controller in my hands. I like the, the hard plastic and the little knobby bits. PlayStation 3 will ship in Japan on November 11th, 2006. In Japan, the 20 gigabyte PlayStation 3 will retail for 59,800 yen. And the 60 gigabyte PlayStation 3 will have an open price, which the retailers will set. In North America, the PlayStation 3 will be available at retail on November 17th, 2006. The 20 gigabyte PlayStation 3 will retail for 499 US dollars and 549 Canadian dollars. And the 60 gigabyte PlayStation 3 for 599 US dollars, 659 dollars Canadian. PlayStation 3 will be available in Europe and Australasia on November 17th, 2006. We will sell the 20 gigabyte PlayStation 3 for 499 euros and the 60 gigabyte PlayStation 3 for 599 euros, including VAT. So let's cut to the chase. Here is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. in that. <laughs> so be sure to check out more on Uncharted 2 in the Sony booth. Thanks, Jack. I'm excited about this no next game, not just for one reason, but for 256 reasons. We introduced MAG on this stage to a lot of fanfare last year, and today we'd like to show you the first public unveiling of live gameplay. Here to show you this massive game is Andy Bodwin of Zipper Interactive. So now, before we start, I want to remind you that every action you're about to see or hear, from the distant chatter of a machine gun being fired by a developer in Seattle, to an airstrike called in by a tester in San Diego, has been triggered by a real player. So obviously, devastating strike, it's cleared the enemy off this position. Now his team has a few moments before the enemies respawn, secure that wall again. So they're going to push in and set a foothold to push into the heart of the base where they'll link up with all four platoons for the final assault on this objective. Now I do hope you're all were taking notes because we're going to have this game running live on the show floor for the next three days with full 256 players. Come down there, pick up a control, and join the battle. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. For those who live a more digital lifestyle, who are downloading content across the network, who no longer need or desire tangible media like UMDs, CDs, or DVDs in their homes or backpacks or in their briefcases. And I have it right here in my pocket. Here it is. We actually have uh, a couple of names for this beautiful little device. First, we call it the worst kept secret of E3. And we call it PSP Go. Grand Turismo PSP no Hapio Ga Dekiru Koto, Hontoni Koe ni Omote Imas. To everyone, I am very honored here today to be given this opportunity to announce Grand Turismo PSP that I know everyone has been waiting for so long. As you can see here, Gran Turismo is running on the small PSP Go. PSP Go 
the PSP Go is a very, very small piece of hardware, but what the Gran Turismo that's running inside it is a full-scale Gran Turismo. えー、と60フレームパーセカンドで動いてますね。そうですね。My, you know, so, uh, oh, we, weapons are always good. Especially large ones. You can imagine if he, he could be Ratchet and he could hold Ratchet's weapons in his hand while he plays, uh, he would die for that. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going to finish off with the, everyone's favorite in our lab's interface here. The archery mechanic. He reaches behind his back, pulls out an arrow, and knocks it. Of course, the tension on the string matters, so the farther I pull it back, the more power I'm going to launch into this guy. <laughs> All right, Rick, call the shot. Uh, the farthest guy on the right there. Gangster style, yeah. Something a little bit more dramatic. There we go. <laughs>、so、keep your eye out this fall for PlayStation Move in your grocery store and wherever Coca Cola products are sold. Peter, you look like you could use a Coke.、Yeah. Kev, you know,、uh, there was a rumor you were going to show up. Peter, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. You don't have to tell me.、Uh, you know, listen, I'm sorry about this, but、uh, as long as I'm here, do you mind if I get something off my chest? I'm kind of in the middle of something here, Kev. I'll be quick. So am I crazy, or did I just see a hundred French acrobats prancing around an arena the other night? I hear there was a sale on blue ponchos. But seriously, I know everyone's got their eye on this motion control battle, like it was Olivia Munn in a Lara Croft outfit. I say it's time we focus on what really. Matters, the games. Who's with me? See, I love gaming. Okay. I love you too. I love walk-off homers and headshots. I love drifting a turn at 100 miles an hour. In boss battles with a 600-foot-tall Greek god who may or may not be your father, <laughs> gaming is having a ridiculously huge TV in a tiny one-room apartment. <laughs> Staying up till 3 a.m. to earn a trophy—that isn't real. <laughs> But is. And it's girls who know that the way to a man's heart is through a melee attack. I love gaming, and I know you love it too. That's why you're here, and why millions of people are pretending to work while they watch this at their desk. It's why we made the PlayStation Move. So every person on this great spinning marble will be able to get a taste of the PS3 sugar. <laughs> Families, kids, grandparents, and you hardcore guys, 
I'm talking about you. Don't hate on them. Don't, don't do it. Look at it this way. If you've got an awesome girlfriend, and then someone else gets an awesome girlfriend, do you know who wins? Everyone. <laughs> With PlayStation Move, your mom can make your mom jokes after she takes you to school in table tennis. And a 10-year-old kid in Fresno can make a frat boy in Boston question his own manhood. <laughs> and we can all box using game characters that have important features like arms. <laughs> and necks. When we said the PS3 only does everything, we meant it. And the move, <laughs> the move brings a whole lot more everything to the table. Because every gamer is a true gamer. Motion gamers, sitting gamers, everyone. And though we may pledge fanboy allegiances to different flags, deep down inside we all serve one master, one king. And his name is Gaming. Forever may he reign! Kevin, uh, that was epic. Thank you, Pete. Listen, uh, you want to stick around? Help me wrap this up? I'd love to. I just got uh, word that Jack needs a Coke backstage. All right, get, get on it. Hey, uh, don't forget the lemon. I never do. <laughs> Kevin Butler! Our next guest has spent the better part of a decade developing some of the most critically acclaimed franchises, and we're really pleased to welcome to the stage for the first time. Stand by for an important announcement from the Aperture Science Emergency Surprise System. Deploying surprise in three, two, one. Hi, my name is Gabe Newell, and I work at Valve. Um, now, I've been pretty outspoken in my comments about the current generation of game consoles. <laughs> so I'd really like to thank everyone at Sony for their gracious hospitality and for not repeatedly punching me in the face. <laughs> if I seem a little nervous, it's because Kevin Butler was introduced to me backstage as the VP of sharpening things. <laughs> I'm very pleased to announce that we'll be bringing Portal 2 to the PlayStation 3. I'm excited that Steam will be part of that experience, and I think that gamers will be delighted with features like Steam Cloud and automatic updates uh, that will make the PlayStation 3 version of Portal 2 the best version on any console. I'm David Jaffe, and this is Scott Campbell, and we're the co-founders of Eat, Sleep, Play, and we're... <laughs> wow. Thank you. And we're really excited to show you guys the next edition of the Twisted Metal franchise. Now, Twisted Metal is the longest-running series in PlayStation history. This isn't the first time that I've come to the stage at an E3 press conference with an elephant in the room. Uh, and, of course, I'm referring to the PlayStation Network outage. 
Uh, and this is the first opportunity for me to personally uh, address uh, everybody uh, and discuss it a little bit. So my friends who are reporters tell me that there's absolutely nothing in the world that makes their editor's day uh, like controversy and bad news. So to all our esteemed members of the press, I say, you're welcome. <laughs> Which brings me to the audience that I'm most interested in addressing, and those are our consumers. You are the lifeblood of the company. Without you, there is no PlayStation. And I want to apologize both personally and on behalf of the company for any anxiety that we've caused you. I know we took you away from doing what you enjoy most, connecting and gaming with friends all over the world and enjoying the many entertainment options on PlayStation Network. And before I go, you know, there's this another game we've been thinking about for a long time. It's a bit of a, a pet project of Irrationals, and it's set in the Bioshock universe. And this has been kicking around for a few years now. And it's very early days, and the design is still evolving. But recently, we, you know, we found the right home for it. And it's on this guy. <laughs> on NGP. And so this is going to be interesting, too. So I'm very proud to showcase, for the first time in North America, the successor to the PlayStation Portable. What you've come to know as NGP, our next generation portable is officially named PlayStation Vita. Thank you. Thank you. So, what does Vita mean? Vita means life, and we're confident that PlayStation Vita will be the first product that truly blurs those lines between entertainment and your real life empowering you to play, interact, and connect like never before. And we'll be partnering with AT&T as the exclusive carrier for PlayStation Vita in the United States. There we go. Now, customers with an AT&T service plan will also have free access at more than 24,000 AT&T Wi-Fi hotspots nationwide. And I'm happy to announce that the Wi-Fi only model will retail for $249. Yeah. $249 Euro and 24,980 yen. And the 3G Wi-Fi model will retail for $299. €299 and $29,000. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled to introduce the PlayStation 4.
the product designer, Sumisa, and <laughs> take a bow. <laughs> and to the whole PlayStation design, engineering, and development team, thank you for being uncompromising in the pursuit of a revolutionary new console, and one that is worthy of the PlayStation heritage. We're equally focused on delivering what gamers want most, without imposing restrictions or devaluing their PS4 purchases. For instance, PlayStation 4 won't impose any new restrictions on the use of PS4 gamers. Yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> we believe in the model that people embrace today with PlayStation 3 and continue to demand. Just heard you there. When a gamer buys a PS4 disc, they have the rights to use that copy of the game. They can trade in the game at retail, sell it to another person, lend it to a friend, or keep it forever. <laughs> In addition, PlayStation 4 disc-based games don't need to be connected online to play. or for any type of authentication. If you enjoy playing single player games offline, PS4 won't require you to check in online periodically. And it won't stop working if you haven't authenticated within 24 hours. will continue to offer the best value on the market. I'm very proud to announce that PlayStation 4 will be available at $399. $399 euros, and for the folks in my homeland, £349 pounds sterling. In the US and Europe this holiday season, it's a very compelling price that offers incredible value given the amount of entertainment PS4 will provide to gamers over the next decade and beyond. Is PlayStation the best place to play? Without a doubt. Our first game tonight has been long anticipated by the gaming community. It is conceived as a poetic story of adventure and friendship, heroism and companionship. I'm personally proud and incredibly thrilled to introduce this long-awaited game. Thank you. I could not be happier standing here today. You don't know how long I have waited for this moment to, to reintroduce The Last Guardian. 
with the first ever seen gameplay footage on PlayStation 4. The creative director of Last Guardian, Fumito Ueda. Ueda san. Thank you. <laughs> now, many years ago, Square Enix released a groundbreaking title that went on to become one of the most beloved games in PlayStation and video game history. Tonight, I am proud to announce that by popular demand, we have a very special treat for everyone. Long ago, we looked upon a foreboding sky. <laughs> a little bit of excitement. We're proud to announce that Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming first to PlayStation 4. Now this is very much their project, but we wanted to celebrate their announcement on our stage, since this is a game that PlayStation fans have been very, very, very vocal about. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Yu Suzuki. Yes, sir. Then show me what you know. I am hungry. Feed us. What are they hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? Your hunt, you tell me. South? Is that a question? South. Please join me in welcoming one of the most creative talents in the history of gaming. Hello, hello everyone. I'm back. Thank you. 
Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No t-shirt tonight, but... I'm proud to announce that we work with our partners at Activision. We're going to bring back the original Crash, Crash 2, and Crash Warped, fully remastered from the ground up for PlayStation 4. Crash Bandicoot will also appear first, though, uh, on PlayStation 4 this October in Skylanders Imaginators. So let's have a look at that. <laughs> 